Did you ever grow up being bullied for liking anime? Ever had someone make you feel like crap for liking something they know nothing about, but continue to make you feel stupid for liking it anyways? Yeah, let's just say my middle school days were brutal, but yes, there are times when we get teased for liking something as rich and special as anime. We get bullied for liking something that isn't considered to be popular, but it's not as niche as the mainstream may think it is. There are millions of anime fans in America, and some of them happen to work in Hollywood today. So let's point them out and celebrate our anime-loving stars with this list of Western celebrities who love anime. For this list, we're going to concentrate on Western celebrities as there'd be way too many Eastern celebrities who love anime as well. We're also going to point out the ones we know have been quoted or recorded demonstrating their love for amazing Japanese animation. So without further ado, here is Anime America's Top 10 Western Celebrities Who Love Anime. Number 10 I decided to put these three in a tie since their support for their favorite shows pretty much way the same. Zac Efron, Keanu Reeves, and Megan Fox. The star of High School Musical Zac Efron was a huge fan of Death Note. The Matrix star Keanu Reeves loved the classic titles like Cowboy Bebop, and the Transformers star Megan Fox loved Sailor Moon. Well, I guess she earned points from me there. The main reason why I put all three of them together on this list is because each of them have heavily expressed how much they want to portray the lead characters in their favorite anime. Here is Zac Efron talking about how much he wants to play Light Yagami from Death Note. Oh, I, you know, I love, I love Death Note and um, we were kind of working on it right now. I, you know, it's not, it's definitely not something that would, that would be coming up soon. According to MTV's interview with Keanu Reeves, he's highly ambitious to make and star in a Cowboy Bebop movie with him starring as Spike Spiegel. Cowboy Bebop. So is this something that you think is going to happen? Like, where's the script at? Uh, we, there's a draft of the script, but the, the writer did such a great job in order to make the movie, you would need half a billion dollars. <laughs> As for Megan Fox, she loves Sailor Moon so much that she'd be willing to star in a live-action version of it. I know we should be more scared of that comment ever since someone decided to greenlight Dragon Ball <laughs> but I'm actually curious. As long as these movies have good writers and direction, perhaps we can let these anime fans act out their dreams. Number 9 Avril Lavigne yeah, you all knew I would add her to the list since she is a huge anime fan. She has gone on and on over how much she loves Japan and anime, her favorite being One Piece. She loves One Piece so much, she contributed some songs to the movie One Piece Film Z. It's not like you to say sorry, I was waiting on a different story, this time I'm mistaken. The girl lives and drips anime. I mean, take a look at her music video, Hello Kitty. Well, it's cringy, but we all know how much she loves Japan. Number 8 Does this one count as a tie? Eh, I don't think they would either. Dylan and Cole Sprouse Yes, the famous twins from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody love anime. They read countless manga and especially love Naruto. What's even cooler about these two is that they were both appointed as ambassadors in 2012 of the Koyamada Foundation, which is a foundation that encourages ties between Japanese and American youth and acceptance of other cultures. According to Koyamada's website, the twins are both fans of Japanese anime and manga, which clearly makes them suitable for such a high rank. That's a pretty badass title to achieve for these awesome twins. Number 7 Daft Punk Oh, come on, just because their music was featured in one of the most iconic anime movies of all time doesn't mean they're anime fans, right? Wrong. 
Daft Punk has been quoted for their love of the classic anime movie series featuring Captain Harlock. They love these movies so much, it inspired them to create their own movie, Interstellar 5555. With their music and Toei Animation's help, they were able to create an unforgettable classic that I continue to watch over and over again. It just goes to show that anime can inspire you to do anything. Number 6 Samuel L. Jackson Our favorite mother flipping actor is actually a mother flipping anime fan. He started out with some comic books, which then escalated to his love for Ninja Scroll. Along the way, he came across a rather obscure title that started off as a passion project in Japan. He loved the idea so much, he decided to help out with the production along with Takashi Okazaki, Gonzo, and music from another anime fan, Wu-Tang Clan. The project was the critically praised Afro Samurai. He even lent his voice to the main character. Some say they bestow supernatural powers upon whoever possesses them. Others believe they were created by the gods and that mankind dances at their end like a fish snagged on a line. Well, what do you know? Who'd have thought that this lovable badass is an anime fan like us? Now, where is his super suit? Where is my super suit? Number 5. Here we have another tie, since like at number 10, their love and devotion is very similar. Tobey Maguire and Leonardo DiCaprio While Leo has been quoted to love more anime titles such as Ninja Scroll, Akira, and Code Geass, there is one title that both him and Tobey Maguire are passionate for, Robotech. For a good while, Toby owned the movie rights to Robotech and had every intention to not only produce the film back in 2007, but also star as the leading role. In 2013, more talk of the movie was rising as Leonardo DiCaprio announced his interest to star in the movie alongside his longtime friend, Maguire. Sadly, the project hasn't come through yet and the rights were suddenly purchased by another studio back in March 2015. The studio just happened to be... Sony. Stop claiming my video, Sony! <laughs> oh, come on! Number 4 Iggy Azalea. The fancy singer herself was in an interview not too long ago discussing how a certain anime she loved as a child got her into serious trouble. The anime Azalea and her sister loved so much was Sailor Moon. But how did Sailor Moon get her into trouble? And all of the characters in this anime cartoon, uh, Sailor Moon, they wore long white gloves. We opened up a can of house paint uh, that was in my dad's shed and we dipped our arms into the paint so that we could look like we were wearing really long, elegant gloves, like Sailor Moon. And we ran around our yard everywhere and we dripped paint everywhere. And when my dad got home, he got us in a lot of trouble and we had to scrub all the paint. <laughs> I can't blame her though. I remember rushing home to watch Sailor Moon, but the closest I could get towards looking like her was putting on a skirt and spreading sparkly makeup all over my face. I guess when you're a kid and you love something so much, you're going to go above and beyond to show how much you love it. Number 3 Kanye West I seriously did not expect this crazy star to love anime, but his constant tweets regarding his love for Akira begs to differ. Hell, he even had a temper tweet over how Akira is better than Spirited Away. We get it, you love Akira! As well as Bleach, Lupin the Third, Love Hina, and Golden Boy. Wow, he must love him some harems, huh? And Hentai! Eh, I don't judge. To each their own, I say. Whether he boasts his love on Twitter or showing actual hentai clips in his videos, it is well known that Kanye West is an anime fan. I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Damn straight you're gonna let me finish. Number 2 Haley Williams the famous singer from Paramore is a die-hard fan. Not only does she love Death Note, 
Ergo Proxy, Digimon, and Blood the Last Vampire, but she also cosplays on stage. Here she is cosplaying Saya from Blood the Last Vampire. In one interview, when asked about her hair color, she is quoted as saying she wanted to look more like an anime character. This girl lives and breathes anime, and will never be ashamed for it. That's the kind of spirit we all should be inspired by, in my opinion. Before we move forward, here is a list of more celebrities who love anime. And the number one celebrity who loves anime is... Alright, I'm just gonna say it off the bat that I may get a bit emotional for this one. Robin Williams. There was no other person I could put above this wonderful man. Robin loved discovering new things. Anything that would inspire him and give him more colorful materials would encourage him to pursue it. His love for anime started years ago when he found some Laserdisc in a shop in San Francisco. His love for anime escalated ever since. He's quoted for saying he would have loved to star in Ghost in the Shell live action movie and even featured his own Evangelion action figures in the movie One Hour Photo. Oh. Neon Genesis Evangelion. <whistles> wow. Okay, well, he didn't really pronounce it right, but he still loved the anime nonetheless. A little unrelated to anime, but he was such a huge gaming fan that he named his own daughter Zelda after the Legend of Zelda franchise. Are you mixing me up with the princess again? Hard to say, you're both pretty magical. He was passionate for anime and loved everything new and inspiring. And that's why his death really affected me. Severely. August 11th, 2014 is a day that I will never forget. I was planning on doing a live stream with the gang on that day when a Twitter notification appeared on my screen. It said, Robin Williams, dead at 63. The first thought that came to my mind was, this has to be a mean joke. There's just, there's just no way that such an amazing person could be dead and so soon. One Google search later, and I was in deep dismay. It felt like for a brief moment, time had stopped. No one was moving. No one could speak. And all we could do was just sit there, listening to the worst kind of news in our lives. I had to cancel the live stream right at that moment, and all of us agreed. We just, we could not work after hearing such devastating news. Robin Williams had brought so much joy, and I can even say he saved my family. When my parents had some separation issues, his movie Mrs. Doubtfire brought my dad down to tears as he missed being with my mom, my sister, and me. He was a wonderfully loving person, but we never knew he was suffering until it was too late. Even then, you never really know until it's too late. Which is why I can't stress this enough. I made this list to prove that you're not alone. There are millions of loving fans who will reach out to you and give you the love and warmth you deserve. I met the love in my life and my best friend through the anime community, and I will never regret my choice to love anime. Whether you feel alone or are suffering deep depression as Robin did, please reach out to us. We'll be here to listen and love you. Robin was a brilliant man who warmed our hearts and made us all laugh. His legacy will live on and his love for anime will be undying. We love you and we miss you, Robin. And you are, without a doubt, the number one Western celebrity who loved anime. Please watch till the end of the credits for some awesome announcements. Trust me, it's going to be worth it.
for watching our top 10 list. A lot of these suggestions were given to us by our fans on social media, so be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We also have some cool stuff on Instagram and even Tumblr, so I don't know, feel free to follow us on there too. We changed up some of our policies on Le Patreon. If you wish to donate $10 or more, your name can be put into a drawing and the winner gets to request an anime for us to review no matter what. Heck, even our next review was requested from our first winner. If they can do it, you can too. We also have a Teespring campaign going on right now called Wear Robin's Face. As you can see, my face is all over the shirt, so naturally it's like the cutest t-shirt of all time, and anyone can have it. You have until December 2nd to order yours, so order now before it's too late. One more way you can financially support us is by buying one of our awesome posters here at Store Envy. We sell these at the conventions we go to here in Australia, so if you want to have some of my artwork, go to Store Envy's site and choose whatever design you want. More designs will be on the way, of course. If you can't purchase anything for now, you can always support us by sharing our videos. If you like what we do, be sure to subscribe and leave us a like. You know, because you like us and all. We have a sister channel called Pop Spectrum where we review anything related in pop culture. So be sure to check that out for more awesome videos. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned to Anime America.